Chateau here, the physical therapy advisor. Just wanted to go over one of the most basic exercises we use to regain shoulder motion. We utilize this motion or these exercises a lot post-surgery. It's one of the first things you'll be introduced to. It's called the shoulder pendulum exercise or just pendulum exercise. Uh, though they're easy to do, they're actually uh, commonly done incorrectly. Um, and the reason why is a lot of folks will sit here and swing their arm back and forth trying to get that motion. But the idea here is for it to be a passive motion. That's why I'm bent over as far as I am. It gives me about 70, 80 degrees of flexion. And then what I do is I want to move my leg back and forth to get a little bit of a swing. The whole time my arm needs to be completely relaxed or as relaxed as possible and I can get more and more flexion motion here um, as I just use my leg to get a little momentum in the shoulder. The same thing would hold true if I was trying to do a side to side motion. I'm just going to weight shift back and forth trying to get a little bit of arm swing. It's never an active motion like this which is a common mistake. Another motion that we'll use is just a circle. But again, it's coming from my legs, not my shoulder. Nice, relaxed, and then we can reverse directions. So this is how you should be doing your pendulum exercises to regain that shoulder motion, maybe after a rotator cuff repair um, or something of that nature. But again, it needs to be done passively and it needs to be done nice and slow using momentum, not an active motion like this. For more tips and rehab strategies, please feel free to visit the Physical Therapy Advisor and also find me on Facebook at thephysicaltherapyadvisor.com. Thank you.